Hi. Um, I keep having people bring up shipping containers for the Philippines. Um, I wrote an article on them in 2008 uh, in Cebu, uh, which is an island in the Philippines, because at that time I could get containers from about 60,000 pesos, um, which is probably about 800 pounds at the moment. But the fact is, these prices fluctuate. Um, I don't keep a stock of containers, but I, I can tell you where to find containers in the Philippines. The first thing is, if you drive along or go along the dock sites, um, in Cebu Pier 1 is a good place to start because um, I think it's Gothong um, Shipping. They normally have some containers for sale. But if you ride along, you'll find that there's different container yards from different companies. And you've just got to go in there and ask them, ask what's available, when it's available. And the important thing here is check out how much the logistics cost to move them. Um, I'll give you an example where if you're on Cebu Island, you'll know how close this is. To move a container from Pier 1 in Cebu City up to Mactan, was 5,000 pesos, um, 5,000 pounds, is, uh, 5,000 pesos is about 80, 90 pounds. Um, now, if you you can guess like, if the container then was 60,000 and it costs 5,000 to move one, if you're moving away uh, into the provinces, the trucking costs can become more than the cost of the containers. The other th side of this being, Good containers cost a lot of money because although containers have a shelf life, um, in the Philippines, it doesn't seem to matter. Um, my father-in-law used to weld up containers which aren't what are class C worthy um, because they only move between the islands. They're not international uh, shipping. And you could see the dates on some of them were as old as the late 70s um, because if you look at containers, it's got the date on the back, you know, on the doors. It'll tell you how old the container is. But you can find good containers, but they're going to cost you maybe 120,000 pesos. Um, the reason I've made this video is because it keeps getting brought up and I answer so many questions about the containers. At the same time, somebody will ask me the following week the same questions. For shipping containers, go to the, the piers. Ask face to face, ask somebody else that you know and can trust to go and do it for you. And if you're doing it for a charity or a school project or something like that, I would recommend going through the Rotary Clubs. I'd recommend going through the Lions. I'd recommend going through uh, the business forums because a lot of the um, people involved in these organizations have people that have things shipped in large amounts. For example, uh, some of the members of the Cassano family are involved with the Rotary Club. Now, I also know um, a couple of friends, for different reasons, have had things from the Norcus group, which are the motorcycle guys. Um, one's been given uh, a building to use uh, for free, Another was actually given a tricycle for um, going into communities for um, religious reasons. Um, I can't remember if it was his mother, but the basically it was for uh, missionary work, um, going into provinces to preach, preach God or whatever. I do. You know, I'm not religious myself, so I don't, I'm not really that interested. But the whole point is, some of these big guys will give stuff to charities and organizations they feel um, add value um, because they for them they're big corporations they like helping the community at the same time some of these projects they know how to get funding for as well that you may not be able to get um, so that's the way I would approach it currently I'm out of the Philippines um, I may be building a container house in Spain at some point, but right now I've got so much to do. I really haven't um, the time to constantly update what's going on in the Philippines relating to shipping container housing. What I would ask is if you're doing it, please share your photos and stuff. I'll, 
if you want to do posts, you can post to the blog. And I'll happily add them. Um, I'm not going to interfere in what you say or do. I just, I'll just post the information. That was the whole point of containerliving.net, just to share information. And I'd happily share anybody's information, be it commercial, be it um, people building their own homes, which is the main reason we did it, or be it from an engineering factor where you're explaining important aspects of container housing. It all helps everybody, um, especially these days when housing prices are phenomenally expensive. Okay, thanks for watching.